even the most smallest amounts of amino acids, such as like leucine or branched chain amino acids can turn off autophagy. That's what they found or any kind of form of proteins. So those, you know, protein powders or amino acid, you know, powders that you're using, that will shut off autophagy. Hey, what's up fasters? Dr. Legrand here, here for another fasting video today. And there has been a lot of questions on my most recent video on how long does it take to reach autophagy. And if you guys haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link somewhere up here to check that out. But there was a lot of questions and it had a lot of great feedback on it. So I decided let's do another video on autophagy. And a lot of the questions that were asked were specifically on what does turn off autophagy. Been asked a lot of different questions about different supplements, different you know foods or different powders, all these different kind of questions on what can turn off autophagy. So why don't we go ahead and let's dive right in. Here we go. So first off, when it comes to what turns off autophagy, we need to look at some specific things. So first one is looking at mTOR. So what is mTOR? mTOR is something that functions as a serine protein kinase that regulates cell growth cell proliferation, cell motility, cell survival, as well as transcription of DNA. But it also regulates autophagy and protein synthesis. So if we understand that, you know, essentially, simply put, mTOR is like this protein that does sense nutrients in the body and regulates the proliferation and growth of cells. And when there is proliferation or growth in cells, that does shut off autophagy. So we need to understand that first and foremost, that mTOR is really the one that's sensing that nutrients and regulating protein synthesis and cell growth and so forth. So we need to understand that first concept. Another thing that we need to talk about is AMPK, which is a particular enzyme also known as AMP activated protein kinase. And this particular enzyme is what actually plays a role when it comes to a cellular homeostasis. Which it does, which it mostly does is to activate fatty acid and glucose uptake in the body and oxidization when there is low energy in the system. So when there's nutrients that is low, AMPK will be activated. So this is something that actually does turn on autophagy in our system. So understanding those two opposites, mTOR and AMPK, is really important to understand what does turn off autophagy. So now that we have that out of the way, understanding that concept, let's go more in the nitty gritty of what really does specifically turn off autophagy. So Dr. Jason Fung, if you have not looked him up, highly recommend it. He has been diving a lot into fasting and specifically autophagy and doing a lot of research behind this of what does turn on and turn off autophagy. So definitely look up at Dr. Jason Fung. He's a doctor up in Canada, so definitely look him up. But he talks about really when it comes to what does shut off autophagy is basically simply is whenever you eat any kind of foods. But other things that do turn off autophagy, and of course this comes from eating foods, is glucose, insulin, and depleted levels of glucagon. Now glucagon is something that does elevate when we are fasting, and so when they're depleted, it's usually because there's high sugar levels or high insulin, that glucagon levels will deplete. Now there is some other conditions, medical conditions that can cause this, but we're not gonna go in that in the detail today in this video. So let's go a little further in about this. Another one that I forgot to mention is that actually proteins and amino acids do turn off autophagy. This is the research that he's been doing is that he's found that it does turn off autophagy. So if that's the case, if proteins or anything that really we eat, anything that can um, turn on insulin, so that looks at looking at all our macronutrients, so that includes carbs, which definitely raises our insulin levels the highest, and then proteins and fats. Now fats, not so much, it's very little, but it does do activate insulin. All foods do activate it. And you guys gotta understand is when autophagy, the Nobel Prize, it was during a, they found this through a starvation. So no foods whatsoever or nothing completely that actually activated autophagy. So going back to protein and amino acids, so even the most smallest amounts of amino acids, such as like leucine or branched chain amino acids can turn off autophagy. That's what they found or any kind of form of proteins. So those, you know, protein powders or amino acid, you know, powders that you're using, 
that will shut off autophagy. Autophagy is very unique to fasting, especially when you are completely doing no foods or simply no types of amino acids or you know pre or post workouts. Those are going to shut it off. This is why it's so unique with fasting versus the low calorie restriction diets that you see. It's unique to only fasting itself when it comes to autophagy. If I haven't made it clear enough, and I know a lot of you guys asked this question specifically asking about certain protein powders or taking, you know, psyllium husk or taking anything such as like a branch chain amino acid, they all do turn off autophagy. So you gotta ask yourself things that don't, you know, there's certain supplements that won't, of course, like electrolytes. You could still take electrolytes like magnesium, sodium, potassium, things that don't, those things won't turn off autophagy. But anything that has any kind of shape or form of amino acids or proteins or anything that has any carbs or fats, that will turn off autophagy. So what do you guys think? What do you guys think as far as when it comes to autophagy? What have you guys found? I know there's lots of new research kind of being developed around autophagy. Go ahead and leave that in the comments section below. Ask me if there's any other questions, if you're concerned about certain things that you're taking, if it does turn off autophagy, you can leave that in the comment section below and I'll respond as soon as I can. And if you have not watched the video about how long does it take to reach autophagy, go ahead and hit this button over here. And then if you are wanting to know more about autophagy, my next video that's coming up is a question that you guys asked is on dry fasting and autophagy. So make sure to hit this button, to hit the subscribe button if you have not already. So until next time, this is Dr. Legrand signing out. Thanks, bye.